Does it enable us to save more lives? Or does it enable us to save more lives faster, more cheaply? These are all the kinds of things we want to find out. And the only way we can do that is to test it, to go into the field, get our hands dirty, and figure it out um, in a real world scenario, which is exactly what we're doing. My name is Joel Kaiser, and I work as the blockchain project manager for Medair. As a doctor and as part of the Health team, the success of this project for me would be for the patient to get the medication as they need them. And the blockchain in this uh, project will help us to uh, ensure more uh, data confidentiality for the beneficiaries and will increase transparency uh, for the beneficiary and for the donors. Using this technology, we'll be able to distribute tokenized medication vouchers. Upon the registration of beneficiaries using Iodonic platform, we'll be able to give beneficiaries electronic QR codes that will be used as their wallet identifier. Using this QR code, they will be able to visit the pharmacies and scan this QR code to get the medication there. Every transaction between Medair, the service providers, and the beneficiaries um, is captured within the blockchain and it's open for the world to see. So being able to trace each step creates a higher level of transparency. Within the humanitarian community, we make a lot of transactions on a daily basis. We're transacting with donors, we're transacting with the affected population, we're transacting with uh, vendors in the middle. And all of these transactions are complex. We would hope that we can make some of these transactions more transparent so that donors understand exactly what's happening with their money, so that affected populations understand why they're getting what they're getting. Um, and then also that we can force, hopefully, the middlemen, the vendors in the middle who are supplying some of the goods that we provide to lower their prices. And this will help to reduce human error in our procedures, improve the traceability of each transaction, and better facilitate even in audits later on. And all of this is really due to the nature design of public ledgers in blockchain. Medair is not the first humanitarian organization to test blockchain in the field. Um, we benefit from the experience of several other humanitarian organizations. Perhaps the two things that make this project unique for Medair is that we are testing it in a health scenario and secondly, that we're testing it in a refugee crisis within the Beka Valley of Lebanon. And so I think these two things make this humanitarian blockchain testing project unique and will also further the understanding of blockchain for the humanitarian community.